What's up everybody, this is Jake with Pac-Man Sports, coming back to you guys with another video after the NFL Draft. Let me tell you something. I am fired up right now. I am absolutely fired up. The first thing, the first reason why I'm fired up right now is the Packers have done very, very well in the NFL Draft. And another reason why I'm fired up right now here is this very situation here with WalterFootball.com and giving this team an F grade for the Packers 2021 excellent NFL draft. Why I'm coming out to you guys with this is for the simple reasons is that WalterFootball.com, I have, have, I have had a great amount of respect for Walter and what he's been able to do in putting together a great website full of great content. And he also does podcasts too on his on on uh, his uh, channel walterfootball.com. It's a very very rich source of of all kinds of different information, uh, but it's mainly football, hence walterfootball.com. However, the reason why I'm fired up about Walter is because he is stooping to the level of the mainstream media. Now, what the mainstream media likes to do is that like is that they like to take the Packers and then make them out to be the bad guy. And that is exactly what Walter is stooping to at this very point. It used to be where it was not like that. I mean, I definitely, I, I, def, I, I definitely think that Walter is still very, very good when it comes to giving his opinions. Sometimes they are very off base. Sometimes they are so, they are so mainstream media driven. And this is no exception to the Green Bay Packers and what's going on with Aaron Rodgers. So to get onto this. Here is why Walter is giving the Packers an F grade. First, let's go to the goals entering the, the 2021 NFL Draft. The Packers seemed d determined to not help Aaron Rodgers. Sounds like the mainstream media. And let me tell you, that's baloney. But to carry on, they didn't upgrade receiver across from Devontae Adams in the 2020 NFL Draft, and they allowed three offensive line starters to walk away in free agency. Rodgers won MVP last year, and yet he'll need to be even better in 2021 to reach the NFC Championship again, unless the Packers make some great selections in the 2021 NFL Draft. Here are some problems with that. The Packers didn't need to upgrade anybody else opposite Devontae Adams. We had a good group of receivers in Green Bay, Alan Lazard, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, Equinemia St. Brown, and the list goes on. The Packers did not really necessarily need to draft a receiver, but it would have been beneficial to be able to bring in a young receiver to develop in case some guys were going to leave in free agency like Alan Lazard. Devontae Adams has a contract coming up in 2021. So does Marquez. So does EQ. But I carry. I, I digress. I will carry on. And here is the accomplishments that he had. Again, going with the mainstream media and what the and, and the narrative that they want to push is the Packers needed to draft a receiver in the first round, and we know that they did not need to do that. What in the world are the Packers doing? A year ago, they were in a position to take several talented receivers, Chase Claypool, T. Higgins, LaVisca Schnault, Brandon Ayuk, etc. And then Brandon Ayuk, the Packers couldn't draft Brandon Ayuk because the 49ers traded up to the 25th spot to select him before the, before the Packers had a chance to take him at 26. So, leading up to the draft, they reportedly tried to trade Rodgers, only to have the 49ers nix the deal. That has been reported to be false. That is not true. Now, Rodgers has declared that he's never playing for the Packers again. Talk suggests that the Broncos will likely trade Rodgers after June 1st, but this will only allow the arch-rival Bears to land Justin Fields because Denver would have selected Fields if they didn't have the opportunity to acquire Rodgers. That may be true, but we don't know. And it's not the Packers' fault or the Broncos' fault that the Bears made a trade-up for Fields. The Bears, so let's say for, let's say for example, that the Broncos selected Justin Fields. Okay, they select Fields, the rookie. And then this would not have stopped the Bears from trying to trade up to go get a quarterback. They could have moved up at number 11 to get Mac Jones. Did you think of that, Walter? I don't think so. The Packers were charged with building around Jordan Love, which they botched the first round pick when they reached a bit on Eric Stokes. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a reach because Eric Stokes was said to be a 
a high second round pick, and the Packers select him at 29, which there is not much of a dip off between 29 and the high 30s or the mid 30s. It's not a reach. And that is a complete, that is complete bunk right there. They finally got on track on day two when they obtained a center and a receiver, followed by another offensive lineman at, at the end, at the end of the fourth frame, despite adding two blockers in the first two in the first four rounds. I don't think they did enough to improve their collapsing offensive line. Mean, meanwhile, Amari Rodgers, like Stokes, was a bit of a reach where the Packers chose him. The Packers spent three draft picks on offensive line. That is completely uh, is completely untrue. The Packers addressed a really, really big need at center by drafting Josh Myers, needed to get a developmental right tackle, Royce Freeman, and then drafted Cole Van Lanen in the sixth round on top of that. They triple dipped it, and they triple dipped to ensure that the offensive line is going to be very, very well, and it's going to be very well stocked for depth. That is wrong. I liked some of some of Green Bay's later picks, but this entire ordeal was disaster for them. They largely have failed to address needs. They reach on players. They allowed the Bears to land a franchise quarterback. Not true. And they drove Aaron Rodgers out of town. Aaron is still a Green Bay Packer. So that is not true. How is that not worthy of a failing grade? Well, I'll give you the reasons why this is not a failing grade. And this is a complete hate. This is a completely hate-driven uh, piece on what he wrote on his site. Okay, let's take a look at the individual grades that Walter gave. A C for Stokes, Josh Myers an A. He gave the he gave them an A for Myers. I don't get how that's F worthy. Amari Rogers a B, in which he said that they reached for him. Maybe the Packers could have got him a little bit later, but I'm glad that the Packers were able to go and move up for Amari to securely grab him just in case some other team was looking to grab him. So I applaud Brian and, and the guys who are trading up from 92 to 85 to select Rodgers. And we got a good developmental slot receiver to help out the receiving core. Royce Newman, B. That's a good grade. I think that sounds just about right. Uh, TJ Slayton, A+. Plus. Love the value, he says. Um, so this is a failure. Okay. Uh, Shamar Jean Charles, C+. Plus. Uh, Cole Van Lane and C minus. All these are relatively average grades, C's, and then A's for the rest of them for McDuffie and Kylan Hill. So this is worthy of failure over the Aaron Rodgers fiasco. <laughs> you got to take the two things and you got to separate them, what the Packers did in the draft, as opposed to what is happening and what's going on with Aaron. Okay, the Packers, the Packers did very well in the draft. These grades here say otherwise that this is a complete failure in the draft. You got you got to take the two and you got to separate them. The whole di the whole disaster with Aaron can be fixed. It can it, it, the, 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 the the Packers and, and Aaron they can reconcile. They can work things out. And the media has completely overblown everything in that regard. And it appears that Walter Football is playing into the hands of what the mainstream media wants you to think and believe about the Green Bay Packers and about Aaron Rodgers. You know, poor Aaron, he is being ill-treated by the Green Bay Packers and the Packers are the bad guy. Brian Goodkins doesn't know what he's doing. The Packers don't know what they're doing. They're squandering everything with Aaron Rodgers and all of that nonsense that the mainstream media wants to keep on, keep on adding to and fueling the drama and make it look like the Packers are the most incompetent organization in all of sports, and people continue to keep on eating all that up and keep on believing the lies that the media and pundits always want you to believe. So that is all I have for this video. I will catch you guys later. And let, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section if Walter is way off base like I uh, like, I truly believe that this is completely hate toward the Green Bay Packers organization, and this is completely unfair due to the whole fiasco of what's going on with Aaron and the possibility of being able to get things mended together to bring, to keep Aaron back in Green Bay and to go help win a Super Bowl here in Titletown, Wisconsin. And with all of that said, I will catch you guys later. 
and go pack go